You out of water? No, it's Yeah, how'd you know? I just happened to speak. Cabrera. I forgot, I forgot what your name was before because of... Uh... Oh, yeah, this is the day they signed the... Veterans Day. This is the 11th hour, the 11th day, the 11th month. Uh-huh. Okay, your D-O-R... O-T-H-E-A. Now, is it... P-U-E-N-T-E. Age? Um, I'll be uh, 60 in January. Date of birth? 1929. Okay, Dorothy, the first question is how long have you actually lived at that residence? Uh, I think I moved there in 78, but I was in prison for, uh, from, I mean, I was, okay, I was incarcerated from May the 19th. 1978? No, or? um, 82 until uh, September the 9th of 85. Okay, so you actually started living there in 1978, uh -huh. and you lived there until 1982, until May when you were sent away. Right. And then you got out in September 1985. Right. And you've lived there ever since. Right, okay. Um, I was sent to prison in September of 82. I, August the 23rd, excuse me, August the 23rd. August 1982, August 23rd. Well, I was incarcerated from May the 19th on. Okay, so from... So from 1978 to 1982, you lived there, and was there, do you remember who lived there before you? No. I, I don't... No, you don't I, remember? No. But I've only had the downstairs for a year. Who lived down there? Well, I mean, I don't, I don't have the downstairs, but I... I Collect the rent from my nephew. Okay. He lived there before. What's his name? Ricardo Ordorica. O R D O R I C A. Does he live here in Sacramento? Yes. I don't remember the answer. How old is he? Uh, about 50, 50, 48, something like that. Okay, approximately. He's in Sacto too, right? Yes. He's the owner of the property. Right. And you lease the property. Right. Well, I. I pay monthly rent, you know. We've never signed an agreement. Okay. But they kept, they rented the place out while I was gone, but the utility stayed in my name. And so the utilities of the property are in your name? Uh-huh. Who pays taxes on them? Uh, my nephew. He pays it. Uh -huh. So you pay the, all the utilities on the property is in your name? Uh-huh. Uh, and you have a verbal agreement lease right. that you are to live there and right. okay, okay. maintain and take care of the property? Right. When I was gone, he rented my apartment out, but kept the uh, the utilities under Montalvo, which was one of my married names. So I'll show, I'll show okay. you my ID. You, so you have you have Dorothea Montalvo. Yes. And you're also but Dorothea I born, Puente. I was born Puente, and, and uh, I was married to a, a Montalvo, and I was married to a Puente. You were born Montalvo, right? No, I was born Puente. Puente. Where were you born? Redlands, California. Redlands, okay. Okay. Well, I, I was on, in, in uh, CIW under Montalvo. Okay. And with the feds... Uh, you under Puente. Puente. Right. Okay. Now, the questions we need to ask you, I need, I need, I need all the truth from you. Okay. Uh, number one is going back. Of course, you know how this whole thing got started was because of this the last individual, right. Montoya. Right. Now his disappearance is very suspicious. I can tell you that. Um, even the things that you said uh, didn't even quite uh, connect with what the other individual told us when she spoke to you. There were a lot of inconsistencies in your statement. 
Well, you know, I didn't think I was ever going to have to remember everything. And, That's and fine. I mean, I can understand that, and you explain that to us. But there's just a lot of inconsistencies. Uh, well, also, if they get in touch with you, I mean, wouldn't that? Show I'd up? have to. I'd have to physical see. Right. Right. Now, as far as uh, uh, the uh, the social worker, uh, he had no relatives known to her, and never mentioned of any. But he had mentioned at one time that he wanted to move from your place. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to stay there anymore. And uh, then we talked to Mr. Sharp. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Sharp says he hasn't seen him for three months. But you said the other day. Yeah, and the him. social worker hasn't seen him. So who is lying to me? Who is lying to me, Dorothea? Well, I'm not. He was there Saturday and Sunday. How can Mr. Sharp... Well, he doesn't, even, he doesn't even associate with the other people. Mr. Sharp also told us that you had told him to lie. I did not. About saying that he was there, because he later told us that. I you did told not. Him to lie. In fact, I, I had asked Mr. Sharp to move. When did you ask him that? Um, let's see. He couldn't pay rent one month in October because he won his money. Drinking. Gambling. Gambling. I don't know if he drinks or not. Okay. And um, that was the second time that he had done that since he'd been there. And it it makes it hard to come up with the rent, you know. And so he finally paid me on on the third. And I asked him if he, if he would move when his rent was... Why would Mr. Time. Sharp tell us... Because he's mad because I'm making him move. And he hasn't seen you for three months. Also, Ben. Now, how long did Ben live there? Just two months. Okay. So Ben, ben Fink lived there two months. Right. Did... Uh, let me see. Who would have known him? Did um, Melvin know Ben? Who? Melvin. Or John. You call him John. Uh, you mean Mervyn? Mervyn, yeah. Why do I say Melvin? It's Mervyn. I don't know because... Did he associate John, with him? No. He doesn't associate with hardly anybody. But Ben, what, what, what place was Ben staying at? Downstairs. In one of the rooms by himself? Uh-huh. Okay. So but, he, but he was gone most of the time because he was always out drinking. Uh-huh. And... Okay. Okay, and he, he, he was on... Um, he had a bad leg. And he would go sell his blood every week. Down at the plasma center, right. yeah. Right. And he said he was going to go back to Marysville. Okay. When did he say that? When I told him that he had to leave. When was that? I can't remember what month it was. He was only there a couple of months. Two, three months ago? Uh-huh. It was in the summertime sometime. Now see, Mr. Sharp says that Ben was missing the same time as Montoya. The social worker says she was up in contact with Montoya up till about three months ago. Okay. Uh, and she says she has not heard hide nor hair from him. Well, he really didn't want to see them. But he'd always, he'd, he'd attempted to, he went to detox on an occasion. Twice. Yeah, and he told him at detox, take me out of your home. I don't want to live there. And the social worker was on very good terms with him to where she was. Yes, Judy. Right, and when he all of a sudden disappeared, she started thinking, what the heck's going on here? And then she got the inconsistent things about, you tell me that the guy was from, uh, you didn't know where he went, and then she got a phone call and she says that you told her he went to Utah. I mean, there's well, a lot of well, things, I Dorothea, know, that I, I don't understand. Things. I don't know where the man was going to take him. Okay, but I mean, there's a lot. You see what I'm saying? There's a lot of inconsistencies there. Okay. Uh, and it can't explain his disappearance. It can't. Now, coupled with all of that, okay, mm -hmm. coupled with all of that, and then... We come and talk could to you. you. Put a, could you put a tap on my phone and, and listen to my conversation? Like no. if they call me? No. I would like you to do that. To me, for me to be satisfied, I would have to physically see them. Well, then couldn't you, once when the call came through, couldn't you monitor all the calls no. and then put a trace on the call? I don't know how that works, uh -huh. to be truthful with you. Because I would be willing to have that done, yeah. you know. Because I know he'll get in touch with me. The other problem is this. You know, we, we go and talk to you, uh, 
be real good about it. And then we asked you for permission. Mm -hmm. you, you didn't even have to give us permission to look, but you were cooperating. You said sure. You gave us permission to dig around in the yard and look around. And then we dig, and lo and behold, we find what is looks like the remains of a human being, clothing and all. But if if it was if it was Alvaro, you know, burnt. No, I don't think it's Alvaro. I don't think Alvaro, if it was in the ground, would be that decayed be truthful with you. Or Ben Fink, you know. Now, I know that the concrete up in front of the shed hasn't been on the ground that long. I can tell. Up in front of the shed? You know where the rose bushes are? You put the roses in the little round circles? Oh, yeah. Right okay. in front of the shed. Not in back of the shed where the garden area is, but in mm -hmm. front there. It's okay, about an inch see. thick. Let me see. In, in there, it's... Uh... How about this last summer, maybe, you put that down? I'm trying to think how long ago. Maybe, maybe. It was it February or something like that? Okay, because there was a trench there. There was an open trench there at one time. Do you remember that? Yeah, we were looking for sewer lines. Okay, so right in front, right in front of that was an open trench. In fact, if if my memory serves me right, that trench went this way and then along the fence on the side of that shed. Am I correct? Made like an L shape. Okay, we're, 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 you mean uh, right where the concrete is now? Underneath that concrete, there used to be. You had a. Uh, there was a ditch, a little ditch. You say you were looking for sewer. Uh huh. Okay. Now you know where I'm speaking about. Yeah. Okay. You know where the little shed is? Outdoors, not in the back of the house. The one on the side of the oh, house. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's say the garden. The garden is okay. Let's do it like this. Here's the garden area, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Then there's some concrete here, and then you have a shed right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then in front of the shed, you have a little bit more concrete with little circles, and I believe those are some kind of bush. And then, uh, let's see, you have another little, some kind of a patio thing here, and then that driveway goes out like that. Mm -hmm. See, and here's the front, front of the house. Mm -hmm. You know what shed I'm talking about right mm -hmm. here? Mm -hmm. Okay, this area, you know that? Mm -hmm. Where the concrete's only about an inch thick. Mm -hmm. That looks like it hasn't I, been... I thought that was uh, about three inches. Well, you can mm -hmm. see it on the sides, dear. But what I'm saying is, that concrete hasn't been there that long. I'm no expert, but I know when I look at concrete, I've been around it long enough. That that, that has not been there that, that long. Do you remember well, when that concrete was put down? Well, it had to be in the, in, the, in the early part of the year then. Okay. But that's what I'm saying. There was at one time a trench there. Am I wrong? No. It was about, uh, about two feet deep. Two feet like deep, that. and it didn't it run in an L shape like this? No. Which way did it go? It just went straight just across? Straight, straight, yeah. Okay, right it, in front of like, the shed area. Like from, wasn't even as long as this table. Okay. You were looking for sewer then? Uh-huh. Okay, and that because was, when was that? Was it summertime? Was it early part of the year? It was probably March. About March, mm -hmm. okay. Now, and you have a shed back here. I could have sworn it was last year, but it was this year. So we know that that concrete. Now, the concrete in front here, was that poured the same time as here? Oh, no. How long has this concrete been there? Over a year. Over a year, okay. Yeah. And that's connected to the shed. And how long has the shed been there? Over a year. Okay. What, what, what was here before all that was put down? Um, plants, and plants and garden, garden that garden area, all dirt and stuff uh -huh. like that. Okay. But it was so much for me to keep uh, raking oh, up. Oh, I know, stuff. I know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it would be. Okay, and then you have In a little fact, shed back there, here. I mean, there was another family living downstairs at that time, you know. Mm-hmm. And and how long was, has that shed been there? It was a little did, shed. Did you get it after you were out in nine? You got out in 1985. Did you put it up there, or was it there before it then? I, the metal shed, I put it up in, uh, that's when I have to remember. I mean, was it after you got out of 1985? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, after 1985, you put it up, mm -hmm. the shed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, there, back of your house, there are some trees planted here. Mm -hmm. How long have those trees been there? They seem to be rather 
new by the way the roots yeah, do not months, yeah i can move them with my hand and i can yeah. see that the roots are not it's adhering the to the one soil I was take out because it was dying okay it appears that there was some digging in this back area there did you have any open trench areas back there there used to be a chicken chicken coop there where now in this whole thing yeah how long ago a year and a half ago okay when was the last time there was any digging back here because it appears that there has been some digging in there. yeah let's see that was uh this summer sometime what did you dig up was what? there another trench for sewer or anything yeah but there was nothing there uh john and and john dug some and uh whereabouts what area of it here are the three here are the trees right here what area would it all, be all back in here this whole thing uh -huh. okay now over here you have a couple of big concrete um those big <laughs> look like bathtubs to me well that came out of the upstairs yeah anyway he uh, how long have those been there three or four years okay those have never budged okay and then of course i was digging around over here and, mm -hmm. and, and then there's a big tree right here okay but the only digging you know of okay we know there was a trench you dug a small trench right here how deep mm -hmm. was that maybe 18 inches 20 inches foot and a half uh -huh. okay and then you didn't find anything you just buried it uh-huh and then later on you laid concrete over the whole yeah thing. i threw some like if you look in my kitchen i have one bucket where i put my coffee grounds eggshells and stuff in fact you'll find that all over the yard okay you know well, a lot of people do that have you ever had any or had the need for any lie around the house lie white powder lie we put some lime, 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 in, lime. In, uh, in, um, where did John put the lime? I forget if it was Lumberjack or, or a couple of nursery told me that the ground is so hard. Yeah. Like if you, if you go back and dig where the grass is, you know, where we put the grass in the front, they dug up about that much. If you walk across to the, uh, empty lot, mm -hmm. you'll see the grass sitting there and they dug about that much. And we put in, well, I didn't put lime there, but I put uh, a bag of fertilizer and, and uh, I think one bag of potting soil or something. And then well, I noticed, uh, I noticed a lime back there in the soil. Well, they said that the ground needed. Yeah, but I also noticed in the hole we were digging, there was uh, some residue of lime. Would there be any reason to be lime two feet below in the soil? Mm -hmm. None. You never put, put any down? Never put them on. Okay. How about John? No. Did, who did the digging back there for you? Who dug all these trenches? I think John dug some. I, I tried, but I can't, I couldn't. I Arthritis can't or something? No, I have a, a bad heart, and I can't lift anything very heavy. Okay. So John did most of the digging when it needed Well, to not always. I mean, sometimes I had, what do you call it, casual labor? Yeah. Okay. Now... Getting back to the, what we find in this hole here, do you have any knowledge of what was in that hole mm -mm. at any time? Mm -mm. Did John ever tell you about anything? John? Sure. Could he have put something in that hole? I don't think so. He, he's had a quadruple bypass or whatever. You know, whatever he does, he has to... How about Mr. Kelly? No, he never does. He has a bad leg. The only thing he ever did was help take up some grass out by the sidewalk where I put some dichondra. Have you done any digging up here in this area? Or is ma mainly all your digging is back in the side in here? In the side because I always have tomatoes and bell peppers and squash, uh, chili peppers in the summertime. This area here, what's this here? This is a driveway. Oh, you driveway? got the concrete and you got some plastic oh. over here. Okay, that's from my grass that we just planted yesterday. But that was only dug up about this much. What was in the middle there before? Grass, but it was... it was uh, Bad. Bad. So you dug it up and you planted grass. Yeah, and if you go look across the street from my house, you can see it. I believe you. I believe you. Okay, now let's get back to this other thing here. Okay? Mm -hmm. I've got a man missing. Nothing seems... Everything seems totally, uh, nothing fits, Dorothea, that's what I'm trying to say. Nothing fits, okay? And 
there's one of two things I can surmise, okay? And that is, Mr. Montoya is dead. No, he's not. Okay, I'm going to miss that. I'm just saying, let me just, I'm trying to surmise this, and then we'll try to clear this up. That he is dead. And that either he, either either John McCauley or, or Mer, what is it, Melvin? Mervin. Mervin. John. Either killed him. Or that maybe he met foul play by your hands. That's 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 my alternatives. I don't know. But my other alternative is that the fact that somewhere in that backyard, Dorothea, that he's lying. Maybe along with other people. No. Okay. And I'm also going to tell you that we had this same information a year ago. A year a ago. A year ago. Yes. A year ago. So what I'm telling you is not new to me. Monday, can I hire a, a contractor to go in and tear everything down and dig it up to prove to you that there's nobody there? If, there, if there any digging has to be done, we're going to do the digging. Oh, okay. 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 What I'm trying to do is right now save a lot of painstaking trouble, a lot of time and a lot of trouble. And, and what I'm asking you, my bottom line, is what I'm truly asking you. Dorothea. Sir, I have never killed anybody. Maybe not you, but how about Mr. McCauley? What reason would he have to kill anybody? Well, I know we're going to find out if uh, about the checks, okay, the mm -hmm. Social Security checks. Mm -hmm. And I know that you're past, you know, you've been in right. some trouble with... Right. Okay, right. and I know I remember when you were arrested and you were in the beam. Do that. I admitted to that to get the trial over with. Okay, but you still were convicted right. of it and sentenced to it. Right. Okay. The similarities are there. The only pro the only thing that's different now is the fact, rather than take something and let it go, you get rid of them, and nothing's ever found. Now here's a man from Costa Rica or, or Timbuktu. That really nobody cares about. Just like, I in did. fact, just like Mr. Kelly said, he says, "Hey, when you're nobody, you're nobody. Nobody cares. So you disappear. You're a transient, or you're a bum, or you're an alcoholic. I cared for him. A lot of him. people think nobody ever cares. I cared for him. I bought him clothes. I treated him very, very good. Have you seen Ben Fink around? No. He, I told him not to ever come back on the property. But he, he was normally a regular around town." And you know but, what? But he's lived in, in Marysville if he, before. If uh, Dorothea, if he'd have been in Marysville, he'd have been arrested. That's how Ben was. You know how Ben was. No, he'd, I only he'd get drunk. Two months, he'd get yeah. drunk. He'd get a little, ah, he'd get a little goofy, right? Mm -hmm. And then he usually end up getting arrested or taking a detox or something. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Gone. What am I to think? What am I to think after hearing this a year and following along, following along, watching, waiting, and then all of a sudden, lo and behold, I dig up a body in your backyard? I don't know anything. About, I didn't even see the body. It may be. And you may be. That may be true. That's why I'm asking you. I'm appealing to you, Dorothea. Sir, I don't know anything I'm about I'm going to ask you right now again. Are there any other bodies no. in your backyard? Not that I didn't even know that one was there. Did Mr. McCauley put any other bodies in the backyard? You have to ask Mr. McCauley. Then. Okay, and I intend to. Okay. Yes. And that's why I'm asking you. Because if it has to be said, I want it said right now. Let's clear it up. Mm -hmm. Let's not get into something that maybe isn't there. I want right. to know. I want no, you no. to be truthful Sir, with I me. didn't even know that body was there. Okay. If I had it, I would have said, no, don't search the yard. You know? But I had nothing to hide. I don't want to go back to prison. Well, I realize that. I realize that. I'm an old that. lady. I realize I'm that, I'm trying too. to get off parole. I'm trying to get my life together. But, Dorothea, the, all the indications, everything doesn't make any sense is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm appealing to you. I'm Sir, appealing to you, Dorothea. Know. That's what I'm saying is nothing makes sense. Nothing. Everything you said was inconsistent with what somebody else said. When you sat in there, it was like sticking your foot in your own mouth. I couldn't believe you were telling me that. Because I thought, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
something is wrong here. And then when I talked to Mr. McCauley, he couldn't even substantiate what you were saying. And here's a man that's lived there four years. No, he's Almost. Lived there four four years, years in March. No, he's been there two years. Well, he says four years in March. Well, he, he couldn't remember that I'd gotten out in 85. But he was he living there before me. you then, right? No. Dorothea, I know if we dig, we're going to find more. I know that. I know that. Well, I didn't put him there. I couldn't drag a body any place. I believe that. But I believe there's somebody else involved here. Somebody else. Because here's people that are still getting checks and they haven't even been seen. Hiding her hair, Dorothea. You have to look at it from my view, dear. I look at it and I think nothing makes sense. This is absolutely Sir, goofy. I have not killed anybody. Maybe you didn't kill anybody. That may be true. But maybe you know what really happened. No, I don't. I think you know about Mr. Montoya. Because Mr. Montoya is not in Costa Rica. Mr. Montoya He's is not, not in Costa Utah. Rica. He, where is he? He's in that backyard, I believe, Dorothea. He is in that backyard or he's been disposed of some other manner. Not by me. Then by Mr. McCauley. I don't know. Dorothea, think so. I'm asking you. I don't I'm know. I'm asking you, Dorothea. I don't know. I don't think I want to know what you know. It. I want to know what you know. You know, you are the leader of the house. You have the background. Okay? You've been there before. You know what I'm talking about. I have never killed anybody in my then life. Then who did kill somebody? Mr. McCauley? Tell I me don't know. Tell, tell me now. I don't know. Tell me now, I Dorothy. Don't know. When did Mr. Montoya really disappear? When? Let's be honest with me. Be September, real honest with me. October, September. That's when the last time you saw him. I saw him this weekend. Sunday? Yes. See, that's what I'm trying to say. Everybody else says, no, he hasn't been around. Why would they tell us that? I don't know. Why? Why would they tell us that? Why would they... Mr. Sharp tell me that you promised to do some things for him I did if, he not. if he lied for you. I asked Mr. Sharp to move. That's why he's mad I'm at I'm going to bring him in here. Okay. And I'm also going to bring Mr. McCauley in. I always look like I'm lying because I'm nervous because I've, I've been, been in prison. Dorothea, you sit where a lot of people are sitting, I know. And don't, I'm not taking the idea, I'm not using that against you that you've been in prison. Okay? What yeah, I say, when once, I say, once you know what I'm... a person has been in prison, the, the police officers, that's... Not so. Not yes, so. Yes, it is. You know, but I'm saying it's the background. It's the background. It's not like you were in there for something else. What I'm asking for is nothing makes sense here, Dorothea. Nothing makes sense. Everything you said, you can't really substantiate. Mr. McCauley tells me another thing. Mr. Sharp tells me another thing. And I've got a guy that's been missing for at least two and a half, three months. I don't, I have not. And a social worker that says, I've been working with the guy all the time and he's just up and leaves. And I'm thinking, well, wait a minute. And then all of a sudden, they didn't want anything to do with him. And then... Yeah, no, that's not so. That's not so. She worked with them. She worked with them. She's the one that made the report. I know it, and I was going to... But then to... what I'm saying is, I hear this a year ago. A year ago I hear this. I didn't have him a year ago. No, not him. I heard about other people. You know what I heard? I heard, hey, Dorothea, over at 1426 F Street, killing people and burying them in her backyard. Um, How do you explain the body in the backyard? I don't know. Two and a half feet down. I don't with know. clothing I don't and everything know. with it. How? When you find out how old it is and see that I didn't have anything to do with that. What if it's only a year old? What if it's two years old? What if it goes back and it's going to be in between that 1978 and 1982? How are you going to explain that? It isn't old enough that it's already the bones are disintegrating. I can tell you. I it looked like there's flesh still there. I didn't know bones disintegrated. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. And then, then, then what are you going to tell me? If I say, hey, they say me at the max, maybe at that time zone where you were there. How do you explain that? Somebody snuck in your backyard and put a human body and buried it? There wasn't other people living there. There was two other families that lived downstairs. But you know what goes on in that residence. You are the keeper of the house. And you I are the keeper I of the yard. Eight o'clock at night, sometimes nine o'clock. 
Sometimes 7.30? Dorothea. Do you really think I'm guilty? You want me to be truthful with you? Yes. I'm going to be real truthful with you. Dorothea, I think you had, somehow you're involved in it. It may not have been by your hand, but it's by somebody's hand. And I think you are very, very frightened right now. You're looking and you don't know what to think. And it's not just because uh, you've had any prior background because there's been a lot of people. I mean, we talk, most of the people we talk to all the time, so I understand that point. But the problem is, I think what you realize is this whole thing is up. I think you realize that whatever has been going on is up. It's over because we are going to uncover that yard. And you've lived there, and that's why, Dorothy, I'm saying right now, if, if this whole thing is up. These people have been missing, and, and, and you can't even explain why. And then when you tell me it's something that is totally different than what I know, why? I have Am been, I wrong? Am I lying? I haven't killed anyone. Then what I happened there? I have, my conscience is not bothering me. When I confessed to my other stuff and went to prison for it, I was glad to get it off my okay. conscience. Okay, and that's why you'll never rest. And you have no intention of going back to prison. I know that. And I don't know if you would honestly tell me. I don't know right now if you would tell me that if you did, yes, I would. you would tell me. Yes, I would. I don't know. I think because I can't, I can't take the pressure and stuff. Well, if you didn't, somebody else did. And the only other person that I can say that has markably been around when these guys have disappeared, that's Mr. McCauley. Well, question, Mr. McCall. I am, but I think you might have knowledge. I think I what I basically want to know from you is where is Mr. Montoya? Where he really right, is? Matter, I don't know. And you said you saw him Sunday. Yes, I did. Okay. Okay. Well, let me go out and make a few phone calls. Do you want some more water? Yes, please. Because I want to get off parole. I know you do. I think everybody does. You're I've, had, I've had a good record. Well, I know that. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I see this and I say, hey, here's no problem. And then all of a sudden this starts happening and we have information a while back. And I'm thinking, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's going on here? Why are these people saying this? What's going on here? Okay. What's going on? Why does one of the occupants say, hey, she, Dorothea told me to lie. She said she'd give me some stuff. She told me to lie. I didn't tell Why would this that. man, and, I, and this man knowing, I says, if you, if, if you lie to me, then you're in violation of the law. If you're going to tell me this stuff. Sir, I asked him to move, and he is upset. Okay. Well, we, we'll get it all. We'll, you know, I want to check everything you're telling me, Dorothea. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to check everything that's, that you've been telling me and to make sure that that's what's going on. Okay. Mm -hmm. But let me warn you, if I find any con inconsistency whatsoever, Dorothea, any, anything, okay, you know what the next step is. Right. Okay, and it won't end there. That's why I'm saying, if you want, if there's something you got to say, or if you're protecting somebody, or I'm you feel fond, or you don't want to turn them in, or you know something, tell me now. Get it out. Get it out. We'll discuss it. There may be some reason. There may be there's something no logical. The only thing is, right now, we got somebody sitting out in that hole, and we don't know who it is. I don't know who it is. I didn't go out there and look. I sat right yeah. in my kitchen where I said, I, yeah. I said I'll sit right here. The only thing I did was to go put a dress on because I didn't want to okay. be running around with my night clothes on. <laughs> I don't blame you. It was a holiday. I didn't expect anybody. And okay. You, you want me to see some water, and I'll get some more coffee. Now, try to think while I'm not here a few minutes. Just if anything comes to mind, let me know. Because that's why I'm here. I need to know. I need questions answered, Dorothea. Okay. okay would you and I, and I try I, to look. I try to look you straight in the eye. Well, I'm trying I, to look at you too, but they I say. I want the truth. But they say if you keep looking at somebody, you're telling a lie. No, because when you look at me, I'm looking at your eyes. I'm watching you. I'm trying to extract right out of you. I want the truth out of you. I'm trying to extract that. And by looking in your well, eyes, I'm wish looking Mr. into Montoya your soul. Well, I wish would show up right now. I, I just don't think he's going to. He ever. is. He is. I believe in God, and I know he's going to okay. show up. How about Ben Fink? Mr. Fink, I haven't seen him since, since the day I told him to move because I couldn't take his falling down and drinking anymore. Let me get you some water. Sorry, keep wait. Be right back.
put the concrete down, uh, you know where the little row of bushes are, the little circles are where the trench was? Mm -hmm. who, who, who dug the trench, first of all? Macaulay? Was no. he the one doing the digging? No. Who was doing the digging on that? Jose Gonzalez and um, some guy by the name of Jim. Yeah, Jose Gonzalez, how old was he? About 55. Jose Gonzalez. Where did he live? Did he live downtown here? Mm -hmm. Was his name Jose or Pedro? I think he lived at 25th and J. Oh. Okay. He didn't live over here at 5th and J? Okay. Pedro Gonzalez. Or Jose Gonzalez. Now, he dug, they dug the hole. Did they just dig it for you and then you searched around and looked for pipes or Macaulay searched around and looked for pipes or what? Well, when we said there was no pipes there, we just covered it right back up. Who covered it up now? I think they did. Okay. And then, the, then about, you say March or so this year, that concrete was put down. Mm -hmm. Who put that concrete down? Somebody around there? Did Macaulay do it? No. You had you hired someone to do it? Uh huh. Because it's awfully thin. I mean, it, it looks like if I hit it with a hammer, it'd break. I just didn't want to have to pull up weeds. Okay, I understand. That. I don't care that much for yard work. I don't blame you. Neither do I. Okay. Be right back. I'm not going to have you sit in the lobby for a while. we got to make some phone calls. You might as well sit and relax. I hear it's a little cool. Here. Okay. One thing I needed to ask you is, uh, we'd like to dig some more. Okay? And that might entail uh, digging up that concrete where those flowers are. Okay. Okay, do you have any problem with us digging or? No. None whatsoever? No. Okay, because you don't have to let us. Look, I want to get this over with. Okay. Uh, what else? How do you get a hold of your nephew? How can we get a hold of him also? Ricardo Orderica. He works at the Clarion. Clarion Hotel? Uh -huh. how he's not there right now. How, how about a home phone or anything? Uh, 428. Just a minute. 428 1471. 1471. Okay. His name is Ricardo. Uh -huh. Okay. I'll talk with John and enlighten us into a couple other areas. Um, Okay, but basically that's what we want to do. And if there is, like I said, if there is a point where the, everything has to be replaced and everything, I think the city will bear that burden of taking care of that. Um, but I'd like to get a hold of Ricardo and advise him also what, we, what we'd like to do to the property and mm -hmm. see if, he, if that's okay with him. It's okay because he let me put it up. I, I paid for all of that. Okay, all that concrete and shed. Because and, mm -hmm. okay. I didn't have enough storage space, you know. I, I just can't do the yard work anymore. Okay. Alright. Now, uh, your niece, uh, Brenda, she was living with you this year? No, a, um, a year ago, September. Okay. Was Jose living there with her also? No. No, oh, she just still was hanging around him? Mm -hmm. Okay. How well do you know Jose? Not very well. Okay, because I know, I know, when you mention Jose and I think I know who Jose was, I arrested him. Mm -hmm. Remember when he and Brenda were in the little, remember they got, we picked him up, Brenda and, and Jose, down at his place, we brought yeah. him in. Did she ever tell you about that? I haven't talked to her since then. Since a year and a half ago? Mm -hmm. Has it been a year and a, a year, half? A year ago, September. A year, so it's been a year and a month, approximately, mm -hmm. almost two months. Okay. Okie dokie. Uh, oh. 
Will you? At, at any point. Can I? Are you going to let me go, or do I have to stay here? No, more what? than likely, we'll let you take on back. We'll furnish you some ride. Now. I'll take a cab. I don't. I mean, it's bad enough. <laughs> We can even give you a free cab back. It doesn't matter, does it? Can, I, can John and I go back together? Possibly, yeah. Yeah, we might have to talk with him a little bit more. Um, one of the things uh, I wanted to ask you is, uh, have you ever talked to John uh, about people, maybe like Brenda, accusing you of maybe putting people in the backyard or anything? Did that ever surface? Yes. When, when, when was that? She told me that if I didn't let her stay there, that she was going to say that. When was that? A couple of years ago. Okay. She said if if that she was that that what you, she was going to say that mm -hmm. that you were burying people in the backyard mm -hmm. if you didn't let her stay there. So she was kind of extorting you. Yes, she was. And what'd you tell her? Go to hell. Yes. In, in fact, um, I turned her in. On what? Um, when she came home, I let her come from prison and stay there for a few days. Uh huh. And she was using drugs. I don't believe in drugs. Okay. I don't smoke. I don't, well, this year I just, I was nervous and I was out there picking myself. Um, I take my heart medication, my thyroid, my hormone, you know, that kind of medication. John and anybody that stayed there can tell you that I don't allow drugs. Okay. In fact, I don't even allow smoking. So she did threaten you sometime back that, hey, I'm going to tell the police. My life threaten your life and then tell you, you better let me stay here I want to tell the police you're, you're burying people in your backyard okay and you thought hogwash and then you said no she wasn't staying there okay mm -hmm. um, did you ever tell John that John John knows that she said that to me was he ever present uh, in fact um, he picked her up off the floor a couple times off the bed I mean, not off the bed but she took up on out of bed and um, we, we finally I asked John to help me because I can't lift anything yeah. heavy. And I put a blanket down and he helped me lay her down on the floor. Okay. And then I called. She dis she left my house. She got out on a Saturday. And she was supposed to report Monday. She left Sunday morning to go see whoever. And she didn't come back until Wednesday night. And that's when we, we were up all night with her. Do you remember when she was a suspect in that murder over there in... Remember that? No, because her I... Her and Jose were supposedly involved with the killing of somebody. Oh, yeah. And we yeah. arrested them. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yes. Was it you that called the police and gave anonymous information? Yes. Okay. All right. And it turned out that they weren't involved, actually. Because I, I dealt with that case. Mm -hmm. See, and that's when I started receiving information. Okay, but... That was this year. No, no, I, I didn't... Uh, it wasn't this year that I called. It was... A year okay, ago it might have been him. somebody else, because somebody called on him. And, oh. of course, she said it was Dorothea. Dorothea? On what murder? No. She said, no, no. This was something where when we picked them up for it, she says, hey, I know who called in and blamed this on us. Dorothea did. Oh. See? So. Oh. Um, but anyway, I wanted to But her out. parole officer did tell her that I called when they picked her up at my house, which I thought was kind of... Lousy because I gave him my word, like I told you, I'm trying to get off parole, I'm trying to do what's right, and um, um, when I called him, they promised me they wouldn't tell her that I called, because I said, as soon as she, he says, when she shows up, would you call? And I said, yes, and I did, and when they came, they walked in and arrested her. Okay. Two times they arrested her at my house. At your house, and that was uh, a year and a half ago? They arrested her on September about the 4th or 3rd, and then they arrested her um, once before she got out, and she was just out a short time. She started using and burnt my rug and all Now, Jose, of was Jose at your house a lot? No, he just came and did some work. I, I only met him to her on, he, she, I let her have him call her, I let her let him call her collect there one time oh, when okay. he was someplace. And then, I, well, I didn't know he was in prison at that time. And he came and did some work for me. Okay. Now, they could have killed somebody, you know. Although, they were never at the house at the same time together. But Brenda's a real bad uh, heroin addict. In fact, I think they're looking for her now. Yeah. Because somebody came to the house the other day looking for her. 
but I was at home. Do you speak Spanish? Some. All right, because my nephew, he speaks, he speaks English, but he... would rather speak Spanish. Yeah. Well, let me go give him a call. You hang tight. Dorothy is... Hey, can I ask a question? Yeah. Was... Yeah. That's Jose? Yeah. Was... Was... Was the, the murderer by the name of Ed Williams? What do you mean, the murderer? You said that they were involved in a murder. Was that Ed Williams? No. Why, do you know of anything that they've been involved in? Yeah, the, Jose was working in, in staying, staying with Ed Williams at uh, 25th and J. He was taking care of him. Oh, yeah, the old man Ed Williams. No, Ed Williams was there. He was just, what happened is Ed finally went out and went to the hospital. Oh, okay. You want to ride back with him? I'll get him. Just sit here and I'll, okay. I'll get him. Okay. But give us a few minutes, okay? Uh, we'll pay for a tax cab if that's fine for both of you. And that way it'll save, you know, Well, I'll be right back. Let me get the book. Uh, you want to go back to 1426, right? Okay, let me get a book. I'll get you all signed up.